evidence from vestigial or rudimentary organs. Vestigial organs are the parts of the body which are greatly reduced and are useless, but the same structures are present in ancestors in a fully developed state performing important functions. The vestigial organs present in an organism indicate the probable line of evolution. Example 1. Vermiform appendix of man in primates. It helps in digestion of coarse diet and in man it has become a vestigial and often a cause of disease. 2. Ear muscles in man in mammals. The external ear moves freely to detect sound efficiently. In man, it persists with no real utility. 3. Vestigial caudal vertebrae are the remnants of well-developed tail in many mammals. 4. Vestigial limbs in python indicates that snakes have evolved from reptiles by loss of your limbs. Evolution by natural selection. Example, moths. Before industrializations, it was observed that there were more white-winged moths on trees than dark-winged. But after industrialization, there were more dark-winged moths in the same area, that is, proportion was reversed. The probable reason could be that the predators will spot a moth against contrasting background. Later, when the trunks became dark due to industrialization, smoke and suits, the white-winged moth did not survive due to predators and dark-winged survived. Earlier, before industrialization, the growth of white-colored lichens covered the trees. So white-winged moths survived and dark-colored moths were picked by the predators. In a mixed population that can adapt, survived and increased in population size, variant is not completely wiped out. Evolution is not a direct process and is based on chance events in nature and chance mutations in the organisms.